Well, folks, today's the day. I got a box from Mezco. We're going to see what's in it. Let's go ahead and, um, I already kind of know, but, uh, most of you probably know by the whatever end of this video, but I want to get things rolling. But yeah, we got some stuff from Mezco. Finally, I pre ordered this a ways, not too long back, but uh, here we go. Yeah, if that's a hint to anything. Mr. Dr. Nocturnal. I haven't bought a 112 figure in a while. I have uh, since Baron Benz. But I've got, this is going to be my fifth one. So, yeah, we're going to have to just dive into this and see what's up. Uh, yeah, this is, this is going to be really awesome. Kind of giving myself somewhat of a little sneak peek. I haven't watched anybody else's reviews yet just because I don't see the point because I, I, want, I want to be excited. And, um, yeah, there's a nice Rumble Society box, Doc Nocturnal. Got a little mini Mezit, which I forgot to do the Mezit Mondays or Mezco Mondays thing. I forgot to do that last time I was going to do it on Instagram. I forgot. We even got a wax pack, old school wax pack of cards, Doc Nocturnal, exclusive sticker included, and something about a ray gun for the crooks in your neighborhood. This is going to be interesting. I have to see what's up. Oh, man, I'm going to have to see what's up with that, so for sure, if it's a freebie or something we can order or whatever, but yeah, even got a t-shirt, so I will say this. I mean, I have a good friend, Overlord Productions. He... We, we talked about how, you know, Mezco stuff's pretty high priced. So Super 7, so is a lot of stuff. But Mezco, they, they give you a lot of good swag. You get a good case. You get freebie extras, you know. I don't know if we call them freebies, but you get extra. Really nice quality. Like a magazine comic. Like, really nice. And, yeah, then you get your size of shirt. Which I'm a big guy, so I ordered an extra, extra large, I believe, on this one. Because I didn't want to mess around. Because the Baron Ben shirt I got was kind of, it was extra large, but still kind of small. But, yeah, this is rad. Got some kind of weird crawfish looking guy on there. Some detective guys. It's crazy. And some gal with, yeah, talking about Eternal. Swing in the air. So, yeah, really cool. I can't wait to wear this shirt out in public. And, yeah, <laughs> that it's a big deal. But let's go ahead and rip this guy open, see what's up. And yeah, this is nice. Always nice stuff. That's cool. I can dig that. That art's awesome. Almost might reminds me of the same art that the guy did the stuff for Pal Peralta. Really cool stuff. And here we go. Got an array of hands. Some sort of gas mask. Awesome looking. Uh, looks like a Tommy gun. Some kind of uh, yeah. Some kind of Tommy machine gun. Got that ray gun that you saw in the back of the wax pack. I believe that's it. Uh, got an extra head. And it looks like a hat or something, or goggles or something, I don't know. But yeah, let's go ahead and uh, rip this guy out and check him out. And as we delve deeper into the packaging, there's some more stuff. We get some uh, cool, like, blast effects. Looks like some kind of grenades. Um, another cool little bullet effect or whatever, like a little blast bullet thing. And some kind of grappling hook. I guess it's some kind of... Uh, Weird flamethrower laser thing or something. I guess it's some laser blaster or something. Some weird kind of thing. But yeah, some kind of weaponry. Oh, this is cool. This is really cool. Yeah, a lot of stuff here. Get an awesome stand, a base and a stand, and the bag to put all the goodies in. So that's really cool. Man, there's a lot of stuff here. There's a lot going on. And uh, let's go ahead and uh, rip out the figure and uh, check out what he all comes with. And man, what a splendid figure this is. The detail is really nice on the outfit. Nice, uh, I don't know if it's like vinyl or some whatever kind of pleather material. But yeah, it feels nice. Especially the cape too. Nice accessory belt. The webbing on the design on the material goes all the way around. The cape's nice. I believe it's... Not sure if it's a wire cape, but yeah, it is. It's got wire uh, lining on it, so that's cool. That's awesome. I heard the watch you got to be careful with because it can't, yeah, it's the hinge on it. So he's got a little watch with, I um, want to be careful with that. If you can see there. So it's some little kind of radio, uh, kind of radar thing going. That's pretty neat. Let me not lie, that's pretty cool. We'll get a little closer. Closer. Let's see if my hand stops shaking. Yeah, that's pretty neat. That's awesome. 
and be careful with that because I can't remember who reviewed this before. It was the Floosh or somebody or Toysh. Somebody that my buddy Overlord told me about that reviewed this and said, that, yeah, that watch is pretty. Um, Got to watch out for it. Let's get focused there. Yeah. Here's a cool holster. All material. That's what I love about the 112 stuff. That's why I kind of... Not why I stopped doing Marvel Legends, just because I was burnt out on the MCU, and I, I know people got to get offended by that, by one of my statements on one of my other videos about Marvel Legends, but I'm just kind of burnt out on the MCU. I'm sorry. I just really am. I really, really am. Doesn't mean I don't like Spider-Man or the Hulk or the Ghost Rider or many other characters like Death's Head, Deathlock. You know, I like a lot of characters, Fantastic Four, but um, just kind of burnt out and interesting kind of want to handle this figure with kid gloves i don't really want to go crazy on exploring too much and um it looks like can't tell if there's just a swivel or a little bit of there's not too much give on the feet but i don't want to go nuts with just jacking with stuff i'd rather do my chintzy review tonight and then look at somebody else's and see what they do there's <laughs> because I paid a lot of money for this and I don't want to break anything and I don't want to get too handsy and um but you'd probably say what's the point of uh not getting handsy enough and not exploring what you bought but I just want to take my time because these figures are kind of like an investment in a way too very much so and I really would like to get the Bluto uh for the new Popeye two-pack that they released and then you can pull his hood back nice skull Awesome skull. I don't know. I wonder if this is like the same skull that would come with all the other Rumble Society guys, or if that was the same type of skull that was with the um, ones you could send off for. Awesome skull on his chest. There's just a lot going on, man. This is a really cool figure. I really want to figure out what's going on with the feet, but yeah, they. I don't know. Just want to take it easy with this, so whatever. If that, if that if that ruffles your feathers, I'm sorry. I'm not gonna go ape ape with the feet. I just want to chill and let this figure breathe a little bit and not go too nuts with the just jacking with everything yet. But yeah, let's check out the ab, abs too. But it's also going to be hindered by um, just the material of the outfit. But yeah, this is cool so far. I, I dig it. But with these figures, there's so much to explore. You got a bunch of different hands. You got two fingers pointing. You've got some, uh, yeah, just a lot of different hands. Some trigger fingers. Some kind of uh, open grabby hands. Just they're all different. And uh, some more like kind of open splayed fingers. Holding hands. So yeah, a bunch of different stuff. So that's cool. That's rad. Got this nifty gas mask thing. That's dope. You can actually see through the the lenses somewhat a little bit. That's cool. That's like some old school Pink Floyd looking stuff. Some kind of clip thing right there holding the hoses together. So this is really interesting. Man, I'm have to, these bend too. So yeah, the hoses seem to, yeah, they're bendy. So yeah, I probably want to chill with that. Probably don't want to get too crazy bending the crap out of those because you never know, you might. Overbend and break after. Oh, here's a green skull. Some black, kind of a two tone fade. That's cool. So you can give them different. That's awesome. Here's some goggles. They look like some old riding goggles from back in the day. Somebody on a motorcycle. That's cool. That's neat, man. So much to freaking explore. Here's his gun with the, the magazine things. Let's get them out. They're kind of. Whoop. Oh, that's cool. Don't know whether these, how these would fit, but we're going to see. Hmm. Not quite sure. I don't want to. I want to go too nuts with this, but yeah. And I'll figure it out, but yeah, you get the idea or the gist of it, but I don't want, oh, there you go. I don't know if maybe you're supposed to glue these on or what, but 
But yeah, somebody will chime in. There's somebody that always knows something that I don't. Oh, wait, I think you slide these in like so. Wow, good thing I'm kind of paying attention. So you just slide that in ever so gently. Yeah, I don't want to force it too much, but there you go. That's kind of cool. Probably could have slid in a little bit more, but I don't want to go crazy. So that's cool. That's awesome. So yeah, you can just slide that in and out. So that's pretty neat. Because there's like a little ridge or whatever. But yeah, that's cool. Here's his ray gun. You can put in his holster. Man, let me get... My hands are naturally shaky, by the way, so. But yeah, that's rad. That's really good detail. There's like webbing on the handle. That's cool. Little skull right there. This is, oh man, this is nuts. That's why I love doing 112 stuff, man. The Mezco stuff. They just really care about their fans, it seems like. It seems like they really, really do. Really good stuff. Man, whew. That is nuts. Nuts, 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 nuts. Um, I don't, man, there's just so much to explore with this figure. I, wow, man, we're gonna, we're gonna dig deeper into this, so we'll be right back in a second. <laughs> man, this might be one of the top figures of the year for me. I don't know. <laughs> this thing's rad. He comes with a uh, cool little blast effect that you can peg right into this tiny hole right there. As you can see, it's kind of in there. I didn't want to jam it in, jam cram it in, but you can see the bullets. He's just spraying bullets at, oh man that's just rad and rat a tat tat that is awesome that is really cool that is an awesome effect that is rad that that is well worth the money i think man oh that this is awesome that is so sick man oh my god that is really cool and plus with this cape the way you can have it bent that's just super dynamic as far as posing a figure and stuff and you don't have to do much just put an accessory on you stand there he looks cool anyways that's cool that's cool with me man Whew. then here's the this weird kind of uh i need to read the comic i haven't read the comic yet but wow this is cool so you just stick that in right there it's a cool effect blast effect thing I don't know whether it's some kind of flamethrower or some kind of weird laser blaster, bazooka, sonic, whatever, boombastic ray. There's a cool little belt and stuff, man. These are really tiny accessories. The belt's material. Clips seem uh, maybe plastic or maybe also die cast or something. I'm not sure. Uh, yeah, there's a little skull emblem again. Wow, this is just really nicely made. And I suppose you can just take off the cape, obviously. Put this on because I think it's what the dork layer did on his one of his picks that I saw recently. And yeah, this is awesome. They did really good paint job on that. It looks kind of like rusted copper or something like that. Or it's, oh, the patina on that's really nice. That's cool. Man, this is mind blowing. This is really mind blowing. Just all the stuff this comes with. And I guess what you could do too is I'm not sure because you've got this mask. So I guess he can wear the mask to protect himself. But I've got to figure out where these can plug into at some point. I'm sure there's instructions, which it does come with. But yeah, it shows uh, actually shows you where some of the stuff goes. So removable belt and pouch function. Oh, so it has a little little thing that can go in there that's located here because I don't want to take all this stuff out and drop it into the abyss. But yeah, grenades that I guess you can clip on. Like I said, oop! Well, there they go. <laughs> told you but yeah okay cool it shows yeah it gives you the complete instructions on what to do with that so that is really neat oh that is awesome oh he's got the glow in the dark head so that is cool man well, let's go ahead and explore this a little further and let's get this going man wow so yeah you can oh let me take his gun out of his hand real quick because i don't want to Get too nuts we're just throwing stuff around thrashing and bashing okay you can take his cape off by unbuttoning it's got two clips so i want to handle that little there we go oh wow all right cool got that off and i guess we can swap his oh he's got a hinged jaw that's cool that's something i didn't notice wow that is cool oh head pops right off really easily so that's awesome Cause that's the thing about reviewing figures like these, like you really, you can either just, you know, 
cut to here, cut there, but also at the same time, we kind of have to explore this because, wow, this is new to me and you. So that is cool, man. It's glow in the dark head. So we got that. What else? Gas mask. Hmm. Okay. So here's our beloved gas mask. Gas mask. Really nice detail on that stuff, man. Really, really cool. Put that on them. I guess it just slides right on. It's supposed to. And yeah, there's a hinge jaw on this skull too, so that's really neat. All right, it's gonna, it's gonna happen. Maybe I should just do this beforehand. Okay, there we go. Probably should just heat this thing up, but hey, it wouldn't be a proper. Oh wow, you can kind of see the eyes through the mask it's kind of hard to tell it's easier from where i'm looking at but yeah that's cool totally just makes me think of pink floyd well it just does all right but where does this plug in is my question where the heck does that plug into i guess we're going to figure it out at some point but yeah that's weird and we got to get his, his back piece on it uh oh dropping stuff yeah. Oh, it's a death ray. Yeah, that's just nuts. That's just nuts, 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 nuts. Wow. So I guess what you can do is it's like a tiny clip there, like you would in your own backpack or seatbelt. And wow. That is crazy. That is like so tiny. That is so crazy. Makes you think of that episode of King of the Hill where uh, Hank's mom goes to, was it Corpus Christi or something or South Padre to go um, to get collect miniatures or something with some friends of hers. And uh, yeah, it's like, I don't know why, but it does. <laughs> but then again, I've been watching a lot of King of the Hill for a hot minute now. Revisiting old episodes. But yeah, we'll go ahead and have this backpack thing on. And I have to re-clip it. Let me go ahead and pop the head back off again. That way. Oh, wow. Let's see if I can get this belt. This thing strapped on properly. Okay. Maybe not. I don't know. Let me do this off cam. Ooh. Well, folks, here he is with the gas mask and the death ray. I'm not sure where to plug these pipes in. I'm not sure if they can just, I guess you can unclip them and maybe they plug into the back over here or something where you can actually put the grenades, I believe. You can go ahead and do that. But um, yeah, I didn't know, but I figured I'd go ahead and get them together. And I put some different hands. He's got the little holding hand right here for his uh, left and his right trigger finger holding the death ray. He's got the mask on and yeah, this is really cool. And I'd be careful, if you're buying this figure, be careful with these little side like pieces right here. Let me show you. Like, be very careful with these that piece right there on both sides. And this thing, much like a backpack buckle or a belt buckle, you just loosen it a little bit right there with the extra material, and you can clip it in just like a backpack or a seatbelt or something. So, yeah, it works like that, most definitely. And wow, this this is cool, man. <laughs> this is really just, yeah, this, this is one of the top figures I would have to say. Uh, let me go ahead and get the mask off again, and then we'll go ahead and explore some more of the accessories. Wow, that's that's just amazing. Whew. And yes, here here he is actually glowing. The skull does glow, and the death ray blast glows as well. That is awesome, man. That is that's some cool stuff. That's some wacky wild stuff, man. That is really cool. Ah, man, that is that's too neat. And here he is with a bit more of accessories. Got the cool little bullet effect coming out of this gun. Oh, he also comes with the little radio thing that I just dropped. But yeah, that can actually plug. I don't know if it's a radio or what, but you can plug it into there. I'll get that back in shortly. But then he's got the cool little skull grenades that you can clip on in the back of his belt. He's got another little hook right there for just whatever you want to put, I suppose. And he's got his goggles on. This is just a really cool figure. This is... This is a 10 for 10 figures, I would say. And yeah, here's the other little accessory. 
you just take a pouch on and you can pop pop it on it doesn't stay on that well i mean you have to kind of really get it in there but yeah that pouch does come off and on so you got this whole dead pulled out and you got to watch out because that's why i'm glad they give you a baggie because these these do clip on but they can fall off too so yeah that's cool just wanted to explore that a bit and we also need to get into this uh grapple hook thing too but yeah that's that's a really really cool man really cool it's got his little two finger hand on there for i guess i don't know he's out with his lady friend i have no idea <laughs> yeah that's, that's rad this is, a, this is a really dope figure I, I have to say just super awesome and here's his little grapple hook thingy kind of don't want to mess with this right now it's just on a little wire pretty much and you can just you know bend it out like it's you know if you want to use it for posing for a picture like he's like you know snapping a grapple hook or something on or just whatever but and there's a piece of just his grapple hook thingy that he can just hold on to with that out without it extended so that that is really cool i i want to personally just not mess with this right now just to take care of it just because it's brand new and i don't want to really go nuts so if that disappoints you i'm sorry <laughs> And this, folks, uh, here is pretty much my final look at this figure. This is a win for win. This is probably the best, I would say, next to Popeye. I don't know. I like all my uh, 112 figures that I have, but this this figure's rad. And I know this is a lengthy review. I apologize. And, yeah, because I have Popeye, I have Wolverine, I have Ash from Evil Dead 2, and I have Baron Benz. But this figure is probably my favorite that i bought so far. This is, I mean, I love all those figures. I'm not going to give them away, but, or get rid of them or sell them, but... This is awesome. This this figure just this is just really knocks it out of the freaking park. Like really, really, really awesome. Just man, look at that pose. Like he's crashing through a window or something. Yeah. That, whoa, 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 dang it. A little bit too heavy right there, but you get the point. Yeah, let me bounce him out there. Whew. And yeah, and if you wanted to add that, you could have the, the grapple hook extended and all that and stuff. I don't want to do that right now. But yeah, that's this is really rad. I just I love this figure. I've I haven't had this much fun reviewing a figure in quite some time. I mean, I I love all the Motu stuff that I collect and I like a lot of stuff, but this is this was quite an exploration as far as figures go. This is really cool. And now we need to just dip into some other stuff. I wanted to mention the comic book, this Doc Nocturnal October number 1. This is even though we're getting in November. Uh, this is more, this harkens back to the days of like the old uh, Conan comics, the old Marvel comics and stuff like that. Some more independent stuff. It's a little thumb through. It's a little bit more adult oriented the further you get into it. And then they've got some funny ads, advertisements and stuff that are really cool. And this is, that's, that's just nice touch. Really nice touch. And the wax pack is what I want to check out. because This is neat. Let's go ahead and pop to open this wax pack. Only $1. That's funny. Let's. Rumble Society, Mezco Toys. This is old school. I love old school trading cards. I've got a lot of trading cards, which I guess I need to do a video on sometime. But the, the Pestilent Man. That is a cool card. Let's see. Enchanting Sirens of Scopoli. Scopoli, whatever. All right. The Harasu Possession. Weird. Meteor Marine Mutants. So yeah, you could have them squab with Baron Benz, obviously, or something. Attack of the 30-foot Macaques or Macaques or whatever. It's some kind of uh, monkey, but yeah. Oh, wow. Petitioning Baphomet with prayer. Ah! That's crazy. That's nuts. Doc Nocturnal versus the Beast from Hell. It's kind of like a Frankenstein mummy uh, ape man or something. The Tangled Web of Doom. That's cool. Emancipating Wolford. What the heck? Oh, he's going to free that frog. Wow, that's cool. And here's a, I guess this is a sticker. Yeah, so that's cool. That's awesome. Wow, what what great stuff, man. This is This is really cool. I guess I'm done with this review, to be honest with you. I don't know what more I could do. I made an entire mess of my room tonight and the review table. And this is awesome. And I need to really... Whew, I'm going to put this back in its wax pack because it wasn't 
Oh wow, this is this is just this is awesome. Anyways, I'm gonna shut up and try to upload this video and eat some dinner because it's late. And yeah, this is so a freaking great figure, man. It's really, really cool. I, I want to get a Batman now. There's like so many. Oh man, yeah, but these are expensive, but they're worth it. I say it's worth it. I say it's well worth it. It's just look at look at all you get, uh, and they don't they don't pay me nothing to say this. And I forgot to almost notice the stripes down his britches right here. That's cool too. But yeah, this is freaking amazing. Anyways, I'm going to shut up, upload this video, watch the review. If not, whatever. Awesome, awesome toy. And once again, Mezco also uh, leaves you a little little note that, yeah, our 112 collective figures are designed to display a wide range, a wide, wide range of poses, blah, 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 blah. blah. And uh, care and consideration should be exercised when handling. So yeah, exactly. Uh, handle with care. Take your time. If you're ham fisted like me, it's easily. You just want to watch out. Be careful, especially with the backpack thing. You want to be careful. Take your time with it, especially some of the little fire effects because these pegs are real. You know, real thin. And just yeah, just take your time. And if you get this figure, if not, or if you, whatever. It's awesome. I'll shut up. All right, later. And thanks for tuning in.